We begin our high school coverage with a great softball matchup in Stanford today. Yes, Normal West and Olympia meeting in non-conference play, and this was a great matchup for Olympia. We go to the bottom of the first for them. Shelby Fincham blasts this pitch into left center. This is gone, almost hits a parent. Spartans are up two to nothing to the second inning now. A ground ball to Lydia Rutledge. She's going to fire to Lexi Douglas at second. On to Sarah Cross at first. Spartans, they turn the double play. Into the third now, pitcher Danica Frazier at the plate with two aboard, and she crushes this ball to right into the trees. A 3-1, three-run blast. She also dominated in the circle, and the Spartans win 8-1. Washington and Bloomington in a middle line versus Big 12 game. Nice play here by Raiders second baseman Kennedy Lovell. She's going to snag this grounder, flip over to first baseman Macy Stevenson for the out. But Washington's bats came alive early. Lauren Kippamanis with a single to right. Malone McKinley will score from third. The Panthers just getting started. Later, Bailey, uh, Bailey Herrick with a couple of runners on. Sharp grounder to the left side. That's a two-run single. Carly Vaughn and Lila Harris score. Washington is a 10-0 winner over the Raiders. In baseball, East Peoria is on the road to play at Notre Dame this afternoon. If you like pitching, you loved this game. EP's Connor Watson, nice off-speed pitch for a strikeout. He pitched a complete game, allowed two runs. Neither were earned. Meanwhile, Notre Dame's Tyson Klingon was good, too. Fastball strike three. He only allows one run today. And look at this defense from his battery mate. Lawson Alwyn, the catcher, is going to throw a strike down to second to nail that base runner. Notre Dame is a 2-1 winner. Tight game over East Peoria. Washington baseball was on the road down in Springfield, and we start out with some great defense in this game, too. Keegan Isbell catches the bunt pop-up, fires to second. Gavin Lawrence jumps, but keeps his foot on the bag for the double play. Now to get the bats going, Elliott Sackman with a grounder to second. Takes a weird hop into shallow right. Coming home to score for them will be Lawrence and the Panthers. They are on the board. Now Isbell working on offense. He drops a single into left center. Sekman will race around third. He's going to come home to score, but the Panthers, they lose a pitcher's duel today 4-2. to two. And how about this score? IVC beats Canton 3-1 to one in softball. That's IVC head coach Max Bundy beating his daughter-in-law and son who coach at Canton. Well, we also had lots of track meets tonight. We'll start in Eureka for the Washburn invite. Girls 4x2 relay Pontiacs. Michaela Torres with the win. Close second just behind her is Eureka's Keeley Tharp. Over to the girls 100 meter dash, Tremont's Cambria Geyer. She had a great day winning that race, and she won this one as well. The 300 meter hurdle champ. A great day there for that Turk. Over to the boys, 4x100 meter relay. Farmington getting the win. Jake Martin will cross. Eureka's Carson Gold just behind him. A neck and neck race. And the boys, 800 meters. Charlie Bardwell coming up with the win for the Hornets. Meanwhile, East Peoria plays host to its meet of champions at Eastside Center. Guess who is doing her thing again? Normal Communities Alliance anchors the winning 4 by 800 really. That's a school record time of 9 minutes and 27 seconds for the Iron. And the Iron winning the 4 by 100 really with Elena Smith on the anchor leg. Washington freshman Sophia Ramirez wins the 1600 in 5 minutes and 33 seconds. It's a great day for Canton senior Carly Zumstein. She's going to clear 5 feet 3 inches to win the high jump, nicely done, and Dunlap's Chelsea Wetzel with a personal best 12 feet. She'll clear the bar here. She is your pole vault champion at the East Peoria Meet of Champions. Mock speed and flight night at Metamora High School. Girls 100 meters, Richwood's Lena Jackson and Jesse Tran. This is Lena Jackson in the middle there. She's going to win it. Richwood's 4x2. It's the relay. It's Olivia Sk Skabinski is going to score uh, the win here for the Knights. The boys 100 meter. Morton's Carl Whitaker is going to just get to the tape first. And then the boys, 400 meter. It's Nate Widsig from Normal Community. A great night, really, all around Central Illinois for track meets throughout the area. And we've got one more to peek in for the Dragon Invitational. We have the fan favorite. How about the big man relay, Kurt? Everyone get out your phones. This is a great race. <laughs> Notre Dame comes out with the win in this heat. 300 meter hurdles. Elijah Campman takes the win for Normal West. Cross the line in 41.57 seconds. To a long distance race, another Wildcat. This time Sky Riddle takes the win. A PR for him in 4 minutes, 33 seconds. 200 meter dash. Pekin's Kanye Tyler has really grown out that hair since football season. He wins by a hair over Peoria's Eli McFadden. And in the 4x4 relay, Wildcats take the win here. Aiden Schwanlin, the anchor, and he, they post a time of 3 minutes, 27 seconds.